Just been recalled back to Warboard Tills, do a couple of YouTubes for them, which is fantastic. In the training cells that we have here at uh, Warboard Tills. So here we have the PS600, uh, power sander 600, because it's a 600 watt motor on the head, which is great, but I'll show you why it's so good. So we'll just unpack it here at the moment. Here we go. That's how neat it is presented in the box. There it is there. Simple little machine. Beautiful. Not all that heavy. It's quite light. To assemble it, what we do is you just rotate it back around. Yellow catch over the top. Lock in. There's your sander, ready to go. If you're working on ceilings up to maybe three metres high and you want to sand the ceilings, the extension bar that we have here, you can see, is a maximum 1.65 metres. It slots into the end of the shaft, slots in, the yoke picks up, and you just tighten it up. Okay. Two little legs, I'll show you what they're for shortly. Once again, locks into the end. Same process, tighten it up. We'll just make sure there's no air leaks around. It creates the correct vacuum. Just showing the extension pole. Those little legs, when you're changing over your pad, you put the legs on the ground, which supports the tool. That you are not damaging your vac hose, which is a big problem over the years. The machine itself has a variable speed control. The head articulates beautifully, as you can see, like a good knee. This is your 600 watt motor. Now, when that's working on a ceiling, it's actually creating a vacuum, which is taking the weight off the head. It's not all that heavy anyhow. On the hard base plate, there are little hooks, which actually sit proud and pick up the material or the base on the mesh. All you do is line it up, put it in, and away you go. But easy enough, pull it off. You can see it's, uh, the adhesion is quite good, and then that base plate is going to last a hell of a long time. About the additional suction control that we have on the head, uh, it's quite an easy knob. That's on maximum, that's on minimum. It's just a little flap inside which is controlling the airflow through the hose back out to the back. The extraction of the, uh, the dust through here, coming off the, the hard plate, transfers through into these extraction holes, through to the head, or around the perimeter between the skirt. The skirt keeps the dust in and sucking up through there. It'll just create a vacuum once again out through the pipe. We have super pads here, which a lot of people use, uh, hundreds of holes in them. They work fantastically. Once again, the dust comes through, it's extracted through the holes around the perimeter, in through these little pilot holes here and drawn away. And then we have the super mesh. Absolutely fantastic, I love this stuff. It's actually got thousands of holes. If you've got a couple of minutes, count them and just let me know exactly how many and I can put that in the next YouTube. Once again, the dust extracts more through here because there's more holes. However, both work brilliantly in the different grades and the different grit that you have there. So bearing in mind, extracts the dust in between the skirt and through underneath the back of the hard plate, comes off the top of the plate through the extraction holes, back out to the vacuum cleaner. Okay, as you can see, to adjust the depth of the skirt, from the base plate here, be it in or out, it's quite simple. There are four screws, just Phillips head screws either side of the head. They will compress or expand. So you can do this by hand or using an impact gun. Just slightly, you can actually see that screw has come proud of the housing. And just with the different pressure, you can see exactly what I mean there. The way that's taken up or put down. Personal preference, how you want it to sit. Once you've got it set, you're away. Right, packing up is virtually the same. 
but in reverse. It's like cutting corners upside down back to front. Release the clip. Now in placing the head in the box, make sure you're well where the head sits, is clean, so you have nothing that catches on the brush. Comes in, locks on, locks over. Job done. Give him an invoice, go pick your money up. <laughs>